obedience must watch this leak video as INEC was caught manipulating tribunal court evidence. Hello, people, welcome back once again to my YouTube channel. You know, when a lot of people are saying that this particular INEC is a criminal organization, you know, many people doubted what a lot of people are saying, and it has started happening already that a whole independent National Electoral Commission, an institution within, within the country, cannot be trusted with anything. This is the rascality that P2B has been saying. This is the rascality and the illegality that P2B has been lamenting about. That our judiciary has been bought over. Most of our institution has been bought over. How is it possible that, that INEC could be caught in a video destroying and tampering with evidences in court? You know, I'll play the video for you to see and for you to see what happened and how they were caught and what the people that caught them said. And these INEC people had to run away. And this is the same way because these are people sponsored by APC and Bola Ahmed Tinibu and all the APC governors. This is the way they've been rigging all, all, a lot of states within the country, tampering with a lot of evidence and documents. I must tell you that it is really pathetic, pathetic that we are living in such control in such this. Let me play the video so you can listen and to hear what these particular people we are crying about and what they were saying. We won't come back, we'll analyze it and we'll try to, you know, uh, look into one or two things that actually happened before they actually, you know, uh, caught up, uh, they, uh, caught this people uh, actually in destroying the evidence. It's rather unfortunate that we are here at the INEC project in Kaduna, uh, where the INEC is supposed to supply us subpoena uh, documents of INEC to the court on Monday, but unfortunately, uh, after reaching us out in the 2023 governorship election in Kaduna, the INEC staff who are in charge of Kaduna North Local Government, who are sorting out this document, are caught, were caught here and they took to their heels. They were caught here sorting out ballot papers, tearing uh, fresh ballot papers that have not been used, and adding them up into the uh, ballot paper so that they will cover up the gap of the region they Look at all the way they put If yeah. our people were not using them, they get to this opportunity. Yeah. And we believe yeah. they must have been doing this. Yeah. Today is Saturday. We just came to find out what is happening. And unfortunately, this is what we discovered. Mm -hmm. Everywhere they have stopped these ballot papers and what have you. This cannot stand. And we'll take whatever measure we need and what to fight that. for justice for the people of community. We will not allow this thing to go like that. We must continue to put our eyes. And INEC must continue to prove how APC won this election. Look at how they have all been listed here. The ballot papers they saw, and they are using it on in favor of a, or an APC just in order to cover this. If I didn't know that they cannot hold election for Nigeria, they should surrender. Mm -hmm. Yes, and everywhere. As you can see, bring the stamp, bring the stamp, yeah, bring the stamp. And they are giving the stamp, giving the stamp. I saw, I saw, I saw the stamp. I saw the stamp. I saw the stamp. As you can see. Oh, this is even stamp that they are busy stamping some of the ballot papers. This is Zaria local government. This is the back for the rest, the rules. And these are all the local governments who are challenging. They came here and they are working. And today is Saturday. They make sure that people are not there. And we don't even know what they normally come here every night to do. I want to tell you that this is rather unfortunate. We have been refused to report. We complain to you, Hadja, about what is happening here. You know, even when I call you on phone, you said, yes, this was another thing we were complaining about. And today, it was only God that exposed them. They have been caught right handed. Yeah, this is not three voters and uh, voters uh, register uh, here. Voters register that have been marked. So now they, are, they remove them in order to reduce the number, uh, to increase or to reduce the number of the uh, uh, registration that we are accessing for the account. Rather yeah. unfortunate, because they know we are asking for a recount. This is a fight that must finish. And by the grace of God, as I said it, we must reclaim this mandate for the people of Kenya. We will not, never allow it to go like that. From the video you just watched, you could see that it is really, really painful. It is really, really painful in Kaduna. In Kaduna State, we are they are challenging the election of uh, that particular uh, governor that Erofai actually imputed there. But look at what INEC is doing. In their office, they are using their hands to manipulate the election results. According to the video you just watched, you, you could hear the man saying that they brought new fresh ballot papers and they were thumbprinting. And you could see the, uh, 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 the, the, the stamp, the original INEC, uh, INEC stamp that was there because it was INEC that supplied these people with all the material they needed to manipulate and they are, and they were done printing and they were giving more votes to APC and they were even putting it there because they want to 
because it, like the person said if you listen to what he said that these are evidences they want to present in court on monday and they just subpoena these evidences from the from, from INEC. Because INEC is supposed to give them these documents so they can present it to, to the court to, to win their document, to win their case and all that. But coming on Saturday, being yesterday, they discovered, and they caught, not like they discovered, they caught them right red-handed. We are manipulating and tampering with the results. And those people ran away. In INEC office, it's not like these people took the, 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 the ballot box or papers to somewhere else. No, this is the INEC office. And look at what is happening. Look at what is happening. This is the rascality and the illegality that we've been saying about, we've been talking about. And this is the same way APC has used to win election in almost all the states, manipulating election results because they think that they are in power and they have all the uh, military and, 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 and policemen around them to protect them. How could people be manipulating and tampering with election results in an INEC office? In an INEC office, and you know, people are just being so quiet and complacent about this. This is a very big allegation. In, in, in a country where things are working, this investigation will go down till the perpetrators and culprits of this particular act is being arrested and apprehended. But it is quite unfortunate. You could see what the man was saying. It was really, really unfortunate. According to the man, he, he said that he told Adia... He, he, you could hear, you could hear when the man is saying that he, he, he told that Adia that this is what has been going on, on the, in the INEC office. The, the woman or the INEC staff there has been disputing the fact because they are working together and covering this rascality and illegality. How could INEC be manipulating the election results just in favor of APC. And according to this particular man, these were the local governments that are in contention in court. And INEC allowed people to come overnight to start on printing with their own stamp. With their own stamp and, start, and they started on printing. And they were on printing and voting for uh, uh, APC in the new ballot papers that, that, that were left over in the INEC office. And this evil and this act was con and this particular act was actually perpetrated in an INEC office. You know, it is really, really painful that Nigeria is going towards this particular direction. And I bet you, this video has been circulating and nobody will do anything about it because the APC is in power. Whenever they see this kind of video, they will not even consult the DSS or even involve security personnel to come and investigate the matter. No. They will actually move on. And this is what people be challenging in court. And that, that is why we are asking people that all eyes should be on the judiciary because the same thing that is happening is the same thing they want to do to P2B. If not for the way P2B has been so smart and, you know, raising the awareness, INEC could have manipulated a lot of things. INEC could have manipulated a lot of things. Well, I thank God that they couldn't even manipulate much. Even though we know that they manipulated, they manipulated some, but thank God they, they, they couldn't manipulate as much as they wanted. Well, I would like you to share this video. Share this video and make it go viral so people will see what is happening in Cardinal State. Well, I would like you guys to drop your comment in the comment section and subscribe to my channel.